lovely readers, I'm here today to tell you three things that you might not know about scavengers. Most of you have probably figured out by now that scavengers are humans, and that's just the name that dragons have given to the humans in this world. They call them scavengers because humans keep showing up trying to steal their treasure. So here's some things you might not know. One is that the scavengers, or the humans, actually don't know that the dragons are as smart and as sentient as they are. They think of dragons as basically big flying sharks, kind of the way the dragons think of the humans as like small annoying cows that um, are delicious, pretty much. <laughs> the humans have no idea that the dragons have art or music or books or any of that. The dragons don't know that about the humans either. That's one of the things I'm kind of playing with, these two sort of civilizations that are completely don't understand each other in that way. The second thing that some of you might actually know if you were watching the video chat I did a few months back is that there is a scavenger who lives with a dragon and he calls her Flower. You met her in book five. And there's a picture of her standing next to a dragon so you can see how big they are. But her real name is actually Rose. And she was trying to communicate with him that her name was Rose by pointing at roses in various pictures and tapestries. He thought that she meant Flower and so that's what he calls her in his dragon language. And the third thing you might not know about scavengers is actually about two specific scavengers, the ones in book five that Sunny meets. And she calls them Fluffy and Holler. Holler is the daughter of the human who killed Queen Oasis, the sandwing dragon that started the whole war that set off this prophecy. So now you know. Those are three things that you didn't know before, but hopefully you know now. And let me know if you have any more questions about scavengers that you'd like me to answer. 